Welcome back. I didn't expect them to release uh, news. Um, well, it's expected because I uh, made that review video like uh, a few days after the trailer was released. So today, everyone, we're gonna check out Brick Adia. So, was it Brick? Brick Adia. I can't. I don't think I can say its name. Is it Brick Adia or? I have no idea. We just go with Brick Adia unless somebody can confirm it for me. But they released. A weekly news which is exciting so they can tell us what they're working on uh, what the plans are and so much more so we're gonna get straight into it with their media here so let's go in now I'm pretty sure what they say here is uh, they'll release news every weekish week week or something and they'll tell us more about the progress of the game as time goes on so that'll be exciting so let's start reading. Starting off our new dev vlog series with Jump to the Future. Brock Edia will be using Unreal Engine 5.1 in early access to read on for what it took to get there. So this is made by, I'm pretty sure it's made by Zablotti. I can't, I'm sorry if I can't say your name <laughs> right um, because, uh, you know, I got uh, issues when saying names. But yeah, it's made by this programmer here, so we're gonna read what they say. Welcome to the first post of the blog series. Here, we'll be keeping you in the loop on the, all the exciting developments uh, happening behind the scenes as we gear up for early access and beyond. We'll be posting every Monday and updates on our progress and sharing some interest technical tidbits along the way. So that means, um, uh, what is it? So here, they're gonna be explaining all the exciting developments behind the scenes, which will be exciting here. So maybe we'll get some sneak peeks, uh, what's going on and such, which will be cool. Uh, looking back on last week's announcement, which is the trailer, the video trailer they released. It's been over a week since we released our first uh, trailer and announced our early access release. And we've been blown away by the positive, uh, positive uh, response from the public with over 100,000 visits to our Steam page and hundreds of thousands of expressions on our social media. It's clear that our community is growing. It is because, because this game is very unique. It's a very unique LEGO game. And I've been told, um, thanks to the people in the comments, that this game is based off or inspired from Blockland, which I can show you right now. So if I type up Blockland, yeah, look, it's a completely, it's a very similar game, actually. Which, which could be, maybe it's made by the same, same developers, but I'm not sure. It's, it's very, very similar to Blockland, indeed. Which is, which is very cool. I wonder if it's based off Roblox. I'm not, actually, no. Because it's, it's actually, uh, it's made in 2007, I think. I don't really know, but it's it's very interesting to be honest. Anyway, we'll continue reading on. In light of this, we're now planning to have the game localize in multiple languages in time for the release. So, so this game will support many languages as well. If you're like in Spanish, you'll have support Spanish. If you're in Japan or Chinese, they will have support for that as well. Maybe. Uh, what is it? If you're interested in helping us translate in the game in the near future, please feel free to contact us through uh, modern mail ticket. So if you're from Spanish, from China, from America, from Germany, all that different countries, you're happy to help support the game by translating for them. So if you want to help translate for the game, uh, you can join Discord, which I would show you, but Discord's not working me for right now, so if you want to join um, their Discord, I can link their Discord server uh, down below if you want to help uh, translate for the game. This is just the beginning, and we have even more exciting announcements coming in the lead up to our April release. Make sure to stay, make sure to follow us to stay updated on all the latest news. We truly appreciate the as the as the as the intense and ang anger enjoyment interest or approval. Okay, um I'm not very good at reading so I apologize for that. Of our communities and we together we can make this game into everything we dreamed it could be. 
Thank you for being part of this journey. And here's a, a community screenshot, which is, which is, uh, which is very cool. We have. Oh look, I can see Gary and Gary from SpongeBob just relaxing on that table. So it's basically a community uh, just sitting in the in the park, just having a nice little dinner, which is nice. So I'm guessing it's a Christmas dinner, maybe. Could be, could be, could be. Moving to the future of Unreal Engine 5.1. Oh yeah, I want to say though that thank you for being part of this journey, which is actually a really nice thing to say because this game is really promising. I'm really excited for this game. Over the past weeks, when not working uh, at my job, uh, day job or preparing the big events, I've been working on a um, monumental task of upgrading Rick Eager to Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine is what Unturned 2 uses, which is a really good um, engine for like a lot of games. It's a really nice engine. In our previous open alpha, which I sadly missed, uh, the world has made up of bricks on a single global group. We were able to efficiently send millions of bricks to other clients using a custom replication system. However, in our upcoming early uh, access release, we're introducing the ability to place interactive objects and have bricks in multiple grids that can move like wheels on, on a car. Unreal Engine 5.1 ha has a new replication system called Iris which sounds like a country to be honest, that will help us handle significantly more interactive objects in the world without performance issues. We'll share more about this in a future blog post. Which sounds really good actually, so so not only really you can have like uh, multiple bricks like in a single grip or have physics like uh, the car, like the cars they mentioned here, but they have a custom new replication system which is the iris which I'm assuming they can handle much more objects in the world so it won't have issues for like low performance and all that like all devices can handle more of these much more easier so we'll continue reading from here all of the other performance improvements and new features and especially bug and security issue fixes Epic is moving on to uh, the engine from Fortnite. One day we, we can use Man Nidite to render bricks with less overhead and complex interior build and virtual shadow maps to remove constant overheat of rendering the entire build to show uh, cast these in every frame. Maybe one day we can use Luminum Global Illusion. Uh, though this is currently far fetched as Luminum handles neither millions of cent instincts or runtime merges uh, matches so here they're talking about more about um, performance about the engines uh, they want to use a uh, netherite maybe one day but it seems like uh, they, these are like for like the plants and such but at least uh, they're at least they got performance and improvements especially the bugs and specialistics and talk about fortnite and such which is nice so how hard can this be? It's what I asked myself, as I saw a few weeks ago, on what could become the most uh, difficult software upgrade I ever had to solve. The open alpha version of Brigada ran on a heavily customized version of Unreal Engine 4.27, which is what the open alpha was, I'm pretty sure. And the new one that we're going to see in 2013 at what is it April 2023 which will probably be much more different I'm assuming we made several hundreds changes in in what is it near nearly a thousand files ranging from fixing a typo to quality life improvements in the other to major improvements in the underlying physics engine nothing got spared from us uh, thinking it should work differently in brick media and then making it so. But at the same time, Epic has been doing the same to their version of engine. Oh no. So, I don't get it, but I think what they're saying is they're trying to problem solve what they're trying to solve in their engine, trying to upgrade to their latest version. But they made several hundred changes uh, files ranging from, fi from fixing a typo so they had different typers and stuff they had to fix they had to do a lot of change to their coding and scripting 
and fix a lot of their um, fixing as well. So it can be very hard for a developer to like, especially for a game they've been working on for years, it can be very hard to be changing up their scripts. Combining Unreal Engine 5.1 and Physics, uh, was it Fix X? 5.1. In the open alpha, we had upgrade uh, the physics engine Unreal Engine from physics uh, 3.4 to physics uh, 4.1. For, for magnificent uh, performance improvements with brick collision, our bricks are now also directly integrated with physics X for collision detection rather than going through slow abstraction la layers in the engine. Now I mentioned that we like uh, physics X, so I'm assuming. Wait, I have to use that word too many times. Uh, physics engine, they're combining the physics engine they're using with physics X with the Unreal Engine, which is nice. But they also said they've been using uh, for significantly uh, performance improvements, like with, like brick inclusion. So so they're telling us about um, how their engines uh, can now detect much easier and improve easier. But uh, I, I can't really understand. <laughs> Clearly, because uh, I suck at reading, and and well, well, you can say that I try my best to read and understand as well. So, so maybe if you understand, if you understand more of this, just comment below. Yes, you read right. A key commandment that we write on simply disappeared from the engine. It was replaced by their custom chaos physics engine, which at least our task currently runs at significantly worse uh, performance with the kind of simulation players. Well, I'm developing creating new physics sandbox. Luckily, we're not bound by san san sanity as an ID developer, and so solution is obvious. We just have to put our physics back in the engine. Oh, and they release a new version, so let's upgrade to physics 5.1 while we're at it. This marks the start of the rather painstaking several weeks of doing nothing but a scoring the history of for tens and thousands of lines with this, uh, physics integrated card that Epic removed, putting it back, then rewriting half of it to make it function properly again. Also hiding all the chaos integrated card. Which sounds rather painful for them to re-add all that code and such. Because I'm pretty sure what they did is they move on to another engine, but then it didn't work out for them, so they had to re-bring back the engine and rewrite it all again. Which sounds very painful. Putting it all back together. With physics engines coming out out of the way, we still have bare uh, we still have bare engine. What about the hundreds of changes we made to 4.27? We need those two, right? In the in theory, this should be simple. We only need to rebase them into the new engine version. In practice, getting those changes across took an entire week of not doing not much other than Solving several hundred emerged conflicts in a row. It was at the point that I could really complete comply the engine and try to load uh, our engine for the first time. Which again, they're talking about their engine and how they need to move all their stuff to the new engine. Only to then have to immediately fix hundreds of comply comply errors all across the actual project. Did you know that Brick India also has more than 200,000 lines of C++ in more than 750 files in just weekend? Wow, that's actually a lot of coding lines to be honest. I got to the point where I can I can make a, a package build again that does not crash when you load some, some bricks. Almost there, right? Damn, that is actually so much brick. No, not bricks, are uh, loading and codes. I think it's codes anyway, but still that's low. And then we get into some of the leaks that we can see here, which is like sign, but we'll read from, from the top. Christmas Miracle. The first time I get I got to play the game on the new engine without it crashing on opening any UI, which just happened to be on Christmas Eve. I was presented presented with these beautiful red and white color items. I honestly can't imagine a amazingly timed bug. I don't know if this means that these items that you see are, are just mixing textures or if this is 
uh, working correctly. So let me just read that uh, again. I was presented with these beautiful red and white colored items. I honestly can't imagine a more amazing time bug. So, which means it could be a bug, maybe. Missing text is perhaps, but look at these guns. So you can see so much more guns here. So what is it? You got Arona, explosives, firearms, and more, uh, mail and mist. You can see so many guns here. Oh my goodness! You, like they sell, uh, they're setting up uh, a lot of stuff for you to play with in the in this early access. Then we got the shotguns, different types as well. But it's really exciting that we get to see it, different kinds of weapons in the game. Okay, well, let me just scroll back up. And then we've got different males as well, you can see here, with which uh, Crystal Echolis, a hero so and all that stuff, which sounds exciting. Uh, we still have so much to read, oh my goodness. For those curious what actually happened, all the items in Brickia uh, use the same shader to draw them. And we press 8, uh, pass, uh, eight cause the GPU for, this, for each arm, since Unreal and uh, Unreal only allows us to store flow point values with each uh, primitive on the GPU, we, re we reinterpret uh, with, co with the color pits as a float before uploading and cast the color in the shader. Which I'm assuming they use some sort of script or engine to like use shaders on these tools, which is why they have different colors and such. Apparently, one of the APIs was was changed to the to the double precision values before converting them to for making the engine actually do some math with the values that only pretend to be floats where you can cast some invalid floats like the nan back to an 8 bit color and it look and it likes to make white near OXS which is a color code and red which is another color code which is what triggered the error I think I'm not too sure but I'm assuming it's something to do with the code and such and we get some of the cool code here the incorrect vertex tank, uh, tank Sega. Brick, Brick Air does a lot of custom matches and processing for bricks such as generating procedural bricks at a runtime or important uh, basic bricks for a custom message types, which I'm assuming is generating uh, all these bricks into worlds and such in the in the game. In Unreal Engine for 5.1, Epic has done large refactoring to match data and structures, we use this old oh joy, which looks which looks pretty cool to be honest. Um, I don't know what this is, but it must be something to load in. Upgrading to our code to use our to use the new AP1 was likely really easy. We just adapted to a few rename types, but this still doesn't look quite right. What could have happened to the normals to make it look this bad? Which I'm assuming here, like if it looks closely, like I don't think these look properly correct, judging by the shading and such. I'm not too sure. Oh wait, this. Oh, this. Yeah, it doesn't look correct. You can see that the issues, like you can see some of the like graphic errors here and there. Yeah, it doesn't really look that right. At some point, I tried to import the original normals from Blender Fire rather than recompile them. That looked fine, except it didn't give us any Tegna information, so now we're missing the stone aside because we're using a normal map and we need a Tegna die to display normal maps, which I'm assuming the items and such they use, which you can say that they doesn't even. Uh, Israel, oh no, um, I think some of the screenshots aren't working. Continuing to try various uh, parameters of the target generator in the engine, I ended up getting a stud on a flat shaded turkey. Well, let me open that up because it isn't working here, if it works. Uh, we'll wait for that to load, I guess. And a turkey almost looks correct, but with a slightly bent stud. I wish I can see this, but I don't know what's happening with the with the Wi-Fi here at the moment. Um, but we'll continue reading. The bending probably is more visual in the normal visual view compared to a proper flat stud. It has greater 
Uh, Gretchen on the sides, which hang on once it loads properly. Here we go, it's loading. If I got to be honest with you, I have no clue why it broke. If it was always broken or why it worked in 4.27 after sp spending several hours trying to reverse uh, the engineer, how the miner changed the to this code curve and the braking layers and coming up with absolute nine i delete all of it and replace it with a different code snippet found online which in worked instantly oh well which i'm assuming they had a code they used back then but then it didn't work for their latest version so they had to remake it also i'm just going to delete this because it isn't working <laughs> too slow are we there that there's still a lot to do with this upgrade main things we're printing warnings or crashing out right Currently expressed to have ironed out these issues of the weeks though. I will leave you with these images of Bricklayer running inside the Unreal Engine 4.18 there. Remember to subscribe or follow us so you won't miss out the next vlog. So that's their vlog once these loads, which I don't know when. So essentially they were talking about that they're moving to a brand new engine, which is Unreal Engine. And they had different errors and such along the way, but at least they get to show us um, the elites, the devlogs and sneak peeks of the game. Which is essentially the, which is the weapons that you see here, uh, some of the stuff they showed us here, some of the errors as well. We can see like some like, uh, what is it, like these shading issues. But it's good to see that they're working uh, on the game as well. I wish I could see these uh, images are I'll just wait for them to load I guess okay so after waiting waiting for a long time they released this mesh right here which is I'm assuming actually it looks like chicken hang on now, if I go back here I think it's that chicken mesh if I if I scroll all the way where is it where is it where is that um, uh, it could be here but it must have unloaded so oh yeah one of these uh, images so these are just Chicken matches, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, it could be. Let me just uh, get these. Uh... So, this is a chicken match. Uh, I'm assuming this is another chicken match, maybe. But, um, so in this devlog, uh, as an analyzation to this uh, devlog or blog, or whatever it's called, they were more mainly talking about moving their game in the, in the future to, or now, to their to Unreal Engine, which is. Probably a much better engine to be using for this game. But what's more interesting is that they had different issues as well, like matches, coding, and all that. But hopefully that gets solved for them in the near future. But I think they will. They're, they're really good developers um, working on this game. But I'm very excited to see the progress of this game. Like, like look at this. We've got different build options. We've got weapons and all that. We've got... Uh, where is it? We got like these communities here, which I would show, but the internet is not being too well at the moment. But uh, I'm very happy to see where this is going. Uh, it's uh, pretty exciting. But uh, if you want to see this devlog, actually, I can link this in the description in the channel, in the video, um, and I can link the Discord server as well if you want to keep up to date as well. But yeah, this is a devlog uh, or a vlog more so about about uh, the progress of moving their game to the engine progress of what they're doing and basically showing us all these cool tools sneak peeks and as well as some of the issues that being, they've been working with but to uh, tell the back of the developers i'm really excited to see where this is going but for now i'm just gonna leave it there for today today next week if they release one, I'll make another one, uh, staying my reactions, and explain, um, if I can, about what they're working on and stuff. So, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you next week, and see you guys soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, goodbye.